Hello, what's up everyone? Hope you're doing great. Today I'm going to show you this new update that came out recently. It's really amazing. It basically allows you to project your phone as a hologram. So, okay, look, look, look. I'll show you, I'll show you. Okay, ready? Bam, just like that and you have a freaking hologram. And you can obviously swipe around. You can open things up. And you can close everything by swiping down. Man, isn't that cool? You should try it. Go, go ahead and try it right now. No, but in all seriousness, this is a really cool effect that I want to teach you how to do. You can do it in either After Effects or Premiere Pro. It's easier and better to do it in After Effects, but you can also do it in Premiere. But today I'm going to show you how you can do this hologram effect in After Effects. So yeah, let's jump in. So when opening After Effects, go and make a new project. Now import the footage where you are pretending to be interacting with the hologram. Like it's real, but it's not actually real because, well, After Effects, woohoo. So you can just drag and drop your footage inside of the project or you can just double tap and it will import whatever you select. So now you can either create a new composition or just drag and drop your footage into none and we'll create a new composition for you with the same settings as your recording. The first thing we're going to do is track the motion of our phone. To do that, go to your tracker panel. I have mine right over here. Or if you don't have it, you can go to window and select tracker. Now find the part that you want to track or where the hologram begins. So in my case, it starts somewhere here. So I'm going to start tracking my phone here. Select your footage, go to track motion and a square with a crossbow pair. You can zoom in and out and move it over your phone. You can hold space to move around. So just place it over your phone like this. When you have done that, all you have to do is click play and it will start tracking. Important thing to keep in mind when filming yourself interacting with the hologram is that you should not have anything come in front of the object you are tracking. So if you are tracking your phone, your watch or even your face, make sure that nothing comes in front of it. So last time I made a hologram I accidentally put my other hand in front of the phone and the tracking point just got lost and it couldn't find it. And that's really... And that takes a really long time to fix, so it's much easier if you film it in a right way. So yeah, make sure nothing gets in front of the object you are tracking. As you can see here, nothing gets in front of my phone and I have a clear white background, so there is a contrast between my black phone and white-ish background. So that's the perfect conditions. And I'm going to stop my tracking. Not here, why did it stop by itself, I don't know right after I swipe down. So the hologram will disappear here and I can just hit stop and I don't need to track the rest of the clip. So now if we move back we can see that the tracker point stays on the phone. What we are going to do now is go to layer, new and create a new object. We are going to go back to our clip, go to back to tracker, hit edit target and select layer to no, hit ok and hit apply, X and Y, hit OK. So now all the tracking information is stored inside the node. Now let's get to the fun part, we are going to create the hologram. So right click inside the project and hit and create a new composition. Name it hologram and choose whatever size and dimensions you want. Because this is a hologram coming out of my phone, I want a width to be 1080 by height 1920. And you can change the frame rate to whatever you want. I'm just going to pick 30 because that's good enough for me. And the length of your hologram depends on how long you want. So in my instance it's going to be 20 seconds, that's enough. And hit OK. Let's start making the hologram by importing all the assets we need. In my case I have the images, 4 images. I just drag and drop them inside the project. I found the these icons somewhere on the internet. I'll provide the link 
in the description so make sure you're standing inside of the hologram and drag and drop your icons inside of there reposition them uh, however you want I'm just going to scale them up a little bit maybe 135 is enough nah a little bit more 140 so now when we go back to our clip which is right here we are going to drag the hologram we are created on top of everything scale it down to so it fits we're going to go to toggle and switches and enable the 3d and place it in the 3d space so it makes sense you can hit r to rotate p to reposition and s to scale it up or down you can also use the arrows on screen sometimes it's easier to orientate so in my case I'm looking way too high up so I need to either make my hologram bigger or move it longer up. This looks good. Now when you have placed it however you want, maybe just a little bit over here, you're going to select the pick whip tool and click and hold it and drag it over to your no object. What it does is that hologram can use all the tracking information with stored as a no. If we play it back and forth, we can see that our hologram moves together with the phone. What we are going to do now is animate the swipes we are doing right here. So go where the swipe starts, somewhere here maybe. Go back to your hologram, hit P and create a keyframe for position. Go back to your clip and go to your where your swipe ends, somewhere here. Go back to your hologram and reposition it however you want. In my case I want it to slide over to the side because that's the motion I make with my finger. And as you can see when, when I swipe the hologram swipes and keep repeating it for however many swipes you have. So the swipe starts around here, go back to hologram, create the new keyframe by clicking this square or ruby Go back to your clip, go where the swipe transition ends over here and drag your um, image. Like this. One more swipe. Go back to your hologram, create a new keyframe. Go back to your clip, go where the swipe ends and reposition. You can also move these keyframes if you think that it's going too fast or the swipe is taking too long. Just like that we have created the swiping actions. Now we have a clicking action over here. So what I want to do is when I click I want three apps to pop out like I did in my intro. So right here I'm going to drag them out. So go to your hologram, we can minimize this and I have three images or three apps that I want to pop out. I'm going to place them over the icons. I'm going to reposition it to how I want my final image to be when my swiping ends. So don't make any keyframes right now, just reposition it to how you want it to look when your swiping ends. So I think I like it like this. I have three apps that I pretend to have opened and currently we are standing where, this, where the clicking is starting. So what we want to do is move everything out of the frame. I'm going to scale in my YouTube and I'm going to slide in the news application and the Dropbox application. So now we're going to create keyframes. As I said, I want to scale in my YouTube. So what I want to do is create a keyframe for scale, set it to zero. And you can see when it's zero, it's so small you can see it. Uh, create a keyframe for position and create a keyframe for position your second app and move them out of the frame. I think I'm going to slide them in like this from the sides. You can slide them in from the top or bottom however you want. There are no rules to this. It's just your imagination. 
yeah and I want the and I want all the icons to drop down as these apps slide in so we're going to create a keyframe for position of the apps so this is my icons I should have renamed them to make it more clear but this is all the icons create a keyframe go back to your clip go to where the clicking ends I think I will end it here maybe a little bit back here and we're going to move the icons out of the frame like this and we're going to scale in our YouTube like this and slide in the other way around or apps oops like this so we can go back to our clip and see how it looks here I'm clicking and yeah it's a little bit too fast but it's all right I think It looks, it looks good enough. You can adjust how long it takes. You can just move all these keyframes a little bit more to the right. And it's much slower. I think that looks better. Now let's make the hologram pop out and disappear. So when I swipe up, I want it to appear. So I start right here, go to a hologram, hit scale. I want to scale it in, hit zero. And go to where your swipe ends. Maybe here and scale it back up. In my case, it was 60. So now it looks like this. And do the opposite at the ending. Okay, my hologram wasn't long enough. Um, we can fix that by going to hologram and go to composition settings and make it longer. For instance, 25. And we can make it longer. That was my bad. And it disappears, but we can make it longer here. By selecting everything just making it longer go back to our clip and we still have a hologram so right here I want it to start scaling down so create a keyframe for scale go to where your swipe ends here and set it to zero now it looks something like this it was a little bit slow maybe a little bit faster good enough it's not perfect but it works I think you understand how you can change these keyframes to adjust them to your likings now let's make it look more realistic and try to sell the hologram effect go to your effects panel and select and type in by uh, blind yeah, blinds nation Vene Venetian blinds. I have no idea how to pronounce it and drag it over the hologram. And they disappear, but that's fine. We are going to set that completion to about maybe something 25%. That looks good enough. And you can change the width to your likings and the feather. I don't think the feather looks good at all. You can make the hologram a little bit more transparent because that's what holograms are. They are transparent. To do that, go to your hologram. I don't remember the key for that, but you just hit the arrow, go to transform and go to opacity and you can set it to maybe 80%. It looks a little bit more real. Another effect we can add is glow. And it glows, woohoo! And you can change the color of the glow. I like my to be like neon green, cyberpunk-ish. Wait, like this. 
you can stylize your hologram however you want you can add more pictures you can add glitch effects you can do so many things but i think for this tutorial this is enough you just swipe up you scale the hologram in you pretend like you see a hologram you swipe around to change the position and you click then you scale something in and scale the thing before down and slide down to scale everything down easy as that thank you very much for watching hope you like this hologram effect it's really easy to do if you want to learn how to do it in premiere or other applications or you want something else you want to learn to do or you have another effect you want to learn just leave a comment and i'll try to do my best thank you very much for watching please subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye